Welcome to Greensorb TV. I'm Charles Muldoon with Greensorb.com. I'm here at Selby's Market and uh, I'm here with Lynn Selby, owner of uh, Selby's Market. And uh, we're going to show how Greensorb uh, can do cleanups in a uh, market, at the market, when you have a bad spill or a small spill, depending on, on the situation. Right. So Lynn, um, in, in, in your market here, and I know you've been, in, your family's been in the business, well, how long has Selby's been around? Since 1946. <laughs> so, so it's a couple of generations. A couple of spills there. That yes. means you were here slave labor as a kid. Right. Cleaning up these right, uh, right. spills. I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> so uh, tell me a couple of the products that, that give you the most trouble. Uh, generally, um, oils mm -hmm. on the floors. Um, detergents are real hard to get up. Okay. Get quite a few bottles of wine get uh, broken <laughs> on the floors. You know, so. Oh, good, good. Well, since we did talk about this a little bit beforehand, right. We've already we've created a spill here on the ground, and um, so we're going to show how the Greens Orb uh, will spill up each one of the detergents, the uh, cooking oil, and the wine. And uh, well, I doubt that uh, unless you have a little kid in your cart, you're going to have all three happen at once. So, but we're going to do them all at once right now. And um, so, what you will do, Lynn, and on your normal, uh, let's talk about your normal um, uh, application. What would you normally do? Uh, well, we'd have to break off running towards the back. Uh, clean up the glass, clean up the spill. Uh, it usually takes a long process uh, with the oils and detergents. You have to uh, like put some kitty litter or something down. Uh, hope that absorbs it up enough that we can uh, get a mop on it. And then we have to get uh, a degreaser. Uh, and then have to do that over and over a couple times. It's a, it's a long process and usually have people tracking through it because it takes so long. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So then we have to do it over a long stretch. So. Okay, well great. All right, well what we're going to do is we already, like I said, made the spill here and I see the wine's taking off so we're going to get this uh, green sorb on it and, uh, and show how fast we can do it here with one application compared to many applications you just uh, talked about. That would be super. Yeah, so um, as you see I'm going to spread this, you know, a nice layer over this. I'm probably going to use a little more than I need to. But uh, the great thing about Green Orb is that, you know, when you, um, after you use it, you'll see if it's, you know, as you get to use it on a normal basis, you get to see how much is, uh, you know, you need. And if you overdo it, well, you can use it over and over again. So, I'm going to prove that here in a second. So now we have this little layer here. And uh, what we're going to do is, I think you can grab, a, grab your little trusty broom here. And what we're going to do is just work it in a little bit. As you see, it's getting darker, and that means it's it's uh, soaking up the bad stuff, right? soaking up the, the mess. And uh, so here you go. As you see, you see there, Lynn, it's already dried up there as we pulled it back a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, so we're working it in, pulling it back, working it in. And you can use this over after it dries. Well, yeah. What will happen is, like I said, you know, you'll 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 find out, like in a spill like here. We're, we're using uh, we're using uh, the, the green sorb to, to dry it up, and you know we haven't done this one before, so so we're going to find out how much we need. Now, what will happen is if I use too much, too bad, and you know, not that so bad, we can just throw it in a bucket and bring it back and use it again. And as you see, some of it's dry, some of it's not, and so that's okay. That means it can still be used again if we need to. That's amazing. Yeah. So what we're doing here, as you see me, I'm just working it in. Keep working it in here. And this whole side's already dry, right? So we're moving this stuff over to here. Just keep it, keep it going. Now look, it's 50/50 now on that. And let's see the dustpan here. Let's lean over here. And we'll just clean this up here. Keep make sure that the oils are all taken care of. Let's just sweep it back on here. And as I filter it through. Looks like it's dried up already. Yeah, it is. It's, it's already dried up, which is pretty amazing. There we go. So you see right here, this little area right here, probably need a little bit more. I didn't have enough there. So all I do is work it back in. Maybe take a little bit off there, work it back in. Now, I've gotten it all dry. I've gotten it all up. And like I said, I've, I use, because I haven't done this before, I'm not, you know, used to, like you, been in the family business. 
So I would know, but that's there's a lot of dry material in there. And if I have a little bucket, yeah, you see that? If I have a little bucket, I can just throw it back in there and use it over and over again. But it actually where the spill was, if you put your hand there, there's nothing there. Pretty neat. That's an awesome product. Well, we just showed an application of the three products in which Lynn here said was pretty tough in the uh, supermarket aisle. So uh, when you have it clean up in aisle five, get some green sorb and use it, and it'll be a very much easier task. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching Green Sorb TV.